o'clock in morning, the most news in the morning period with day six Eastern. It was a black tie event. However, there was very little, if anything, formal about it. The president was the opening act, but some say he stole the show. <laughs> the red carpet. I heard it was, uh, you know, the dinner to be at, so I'm excited to be here. Well, I am looking forward to an evening of good stories and good laugh. And the capacity crowd, the annual White House Correspondents Association dinner, bringing together a mix of Washington elite, journalists, and a heavy dose of Hollywood glamour. Who would you play if you could play a movie, if you could get a role in an Obama administration film? Oh, that's very easy. There's a reason why they call me the Rock Obama. <laughs> There's only one man. The main event, President Obama, appearing in the role of comedian-in-chief. He poked fun at the media, his critics, even himself in the first 100 days. I believe that my next 100 days will be so successful I will be able to complete them in 72 days. <laughs> and on the 73rd day, I will rest. The president did not pass up the chance to blast Republicans or the previous administration. Dick Cheney was supposed to be here, uh, but he is very busy working on his memoirs tentatively titled, How to Shoot Friends and Interrogate People. <laughs> Even Vice President Biden wasn't spared, a target of both Mr. Obama and featured entertainer, comedian Wanda Sykes. In the next 100 days, I will learn to go off the prompter, and Joe Biden will learn to stay on the prompter. God forbid, if this is ever a hostage situation, we're done. Oh, they won't even have to torture him. All they have to do is go, how's it going, Joe? Sykes reserved her toughest jab, possibly the evening's most controversial remark, for conservative talk radio host Rush Limbaugh, slamming him for saying he hopes President Obama fails. To me, that's treason. He's not saying anything differently than what Osama bin Laden is saying. You know, you might want to look into this, sir, because I think maybe Rush Limbaugh was the 20th hijacker, but he was just so strung out on Oxycontin, he missed his flight. The evening was dominated by humor, but the president took a serious turn at the end of his speech, acknowledging the extraordinary challenges facing the country right now.